Hello YouTube girlies, hi beauties. It's your girl Ashley Sims and it is like 2.38 in the morning. But you know what, I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated to the cause. And I just thought about like, I just got my hair done um, the day after Christmas. And normally your girl is like, get the full weave sew in. It's like, it's given flat, it's given bone straight, it's given like, just do that, right? Like each day. But I am really feeling like curly, you know? So, in this video, I am going to show you guys my results of using flexi rods to curl my um, weave, which I have in now, I just installed. I'm gonna show you all my results of using foam rollers. Um, oh, here's the flexi rods that I have. I got a set on Amazon. It's like a variety set in different sizes um, and colors. This is what the little paper looks like. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys what my results are for flexi rods. And then I have a huge bag of foam rollers. Um, you know, the ones your grandma used to use. Or your mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these. I'm going to show you guys the results for these. And then lastly, I'm going to come on and show you guys the results of using this Kitschk um, heatless curler, curling set. So it's like the little heatless curler with the little um, scrunchies on it. So, hey guys, I'm also, maybe yes, maybe no, may at the end of this video include some uh, a brief tutorial on how to roll your hair with flexi rods, how to roll your hair with sponge rollers, and how to roll your hair with the um, heatless curler. Maybe yes, maybe no. But if you're interested in this content, seeing my final results, please go ahead, stay locked and loaded, and give your girl a big thumbs up and subscribe, and subscribe to your girl's channel because I'm up here at 2.38 in the morning bringing this content to y'all because hey i'm like if i'm wondering what's the difference of the curl results with flexi rods um sponge rollers and heatless curler somebody else another sister she wondering too but all right you guys stay tuned <laughs> so i always like to go ahead and show all the products that i'll be using for the video um so here's what we have here again as i showed i ordered this on amazon it is by i believe it's pronounced kitsch um, the Satin Heatless Curling Set. And um, it just comes in a variety of colors. And here's um, the Heatless Curler and it has little uh, scrunchies attached to it, like hair scrunchies as they're showing on here and I'll show on the end of my video. It has little hair scrunchies on here to help secure this in place. And then um, I have a set of variety foam rollers here at the house um, from, I guess like, my college years, <laughs> but I haven't used these in a while, but I have gotten some great curls, you know, to last me for like a day um, with these um, sponge rollers. Here are the remainder of the uh, flexi rod rollers, the ones that I haven't put in my hair. Um, they come in this little travel bag. And like I said, they come in a variety of sizes. And I just showed you all uh, my hair now. And I used a lot of the bigger size ones on my hair. Here's like the different sizes. And it also comes with instructions in case you all wanna pause and um, you know see what it says to install your flexi rods or they're called them curling rods. But here's the instructions for that. And then also, um, you cannot have a wig, weave, sewing, or anything <laughs> without like an edge band. So here's just the edge band that I got from the beauty supply store. The wording is off of this, but this is the Even uh, New York 24 Hour Edge Tamer. Um, so that's currently the edge control that I'm edge edge controller that I'm using. And then this is just a tri side um, by the brand Red, like. I call them baby hairs brushes. Um, if you know the appropriate and correct name, please comment down below and let your girl know. It's not worth a Google to me. Um, and then also to set my roller sets, I have the Infinity Pro by Conair. And this is their Ionic Ceramic Dryer. 
And so it's the performance series. It comes with the dryer and the diffuser and the thermal uh, concentrator, whatever that is. You guys, that sounds too fancy for us um, people who are not in the hair care. A thermal pick and a concentrator, um, smooth and straight. This one is sleek and shiny. But yeah. And then to uh, seal the top of my sew-in, like my lace closure, I have the Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray that of course I'll use with the edge band and the blow dryer. And then I have a series of products that I can use to set my rollers. So for this particular set, I did forget to put the setting um, lotion on before. So what I'm gonna do is use a spray bottle to set it um, afterwards and then um, you know with the rollers already installed then dry it for 10 to 15 minutes on a high heat setting and then let, also let it sit and dwell and then I'll take the rollers out so if you forget on the front end it is possible to do it on the back end but you just have to you know spray but um, another option these two options here uh, let me show you guys the setting lotion so yeah, this is just a lot of body with coconut and shea oils, style me texturizing setting lotion. And as you all can see, it says create superior hold as brilliant shine and great body. Um, but also another option is you can use like foaming mousse. So I just have a couple of different options here with the foaming mousse. I'll show these at the same time. It's just a lot of body brand and the Miel brand. And this one's a curl defining mousse with holes. And this one is a foaming mousse. But as you can, guys can see on the lot of body, it does say create soft wraps, defines curls and tames frizz. And um, on the Miel one, um, you know, it's, it's for curl defining. And it says, oh, this is just the um, ingredients that's in it, like as far as the scents. But yeah, you guys, this is not a product share video. <laughs> but yeah, those will be the products that I'll be using throughout this video. And so yeah, you guys, stay tuned. All right, so I have my um, spray bottle here. I just took the top off. I have my dryer um, ready to go, and it is set on the hot setting. It's off right now, but I'm going to do it on high here in a minute. And again, this is the Infinity Pro by Conair Performance Series Ionic um, Dryer. I'm just going to take some of that lot of body um, setting lotion and just pour it into my spray bottle here. And again, the only reason why I'm doing this step now is because I forgot to set my rollers when I, you know, put them in my flexi rods. I'm just gonna spray me, I mean, put me, pour me some of that in there. And then I'll come back on camera to show you guys my, me spraying and um, drying my hair. All right, I'm just going in with that setting lotion. And again, I'm just spraying it since I had already <laughs> did my foam rollers and I should have put my setting lotion on before, but I'm not taking these rollers back down. So we're gonna go ahead and get uh, this lightly sprayed with the setting lotion. In my um, experience, you don't wanna just oversaturate it, but you wanna get a nice little light mist. So I definitely do recommend this type of spray bottle because it gives you a light mist and not like a, sh a stream, right? So I'm just gonna shield my eyes and go around. Start off in the front. Make sure I hit the back, up and sides. I'm just shielding the back of my neck and I'm gonna go ahead and shield this side of my face because you don't want this in your eye. And then again, you just wanna make sure the ones in the front, especially because they're in the front, that you get those real good. I had a little drippage there. Um, okay. I'm gonna do a light pat because I don't want anything like dripping down on my hair. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started with the dryer. I'm not gonna show you all a whole 15 minutes of me drying my hair with these rollers. Um, and I will be taking them off like tomorrow, right? I'm gonna sleep with these. Um, and I'm gonna have on um, a big, huge bonnet. So I do recommend that as well um, if you're gonna do um, these rollers. Let me hit this one in the front again, you guys. Make sure it's good. Your front game gotta be on point. So let's get started with um, drying these. 
Like I said, you don't have to do 10 to 15 minutes, but that what is what was recommended um, when I went online to see like how long I need to be, you know, applying heat um, for rollers that I'm setting. So while I have my dryer plugged in, I am going to go ahead and like I mentioned earlier, um, apply some of this got to be blasting free spray onto my, um, you guys always get, oh, it's a lace closure. I get it confused with like frontal to my lace closure. I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this and I'll go ahead and just dry that down and secure that also with um, my, I call it an edge band, you guys. It's probably a better name for it. I am not like an expert. I am very beginner friendly, <laughs> if you can't tell. But you know what? I get the job done so I can look good. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this spray. Right here to the edge. Just apply a little bit more because I'm extra. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna put this on high. All right, so just a few moments of that because I have this um, like edge laying band. And again, I just got this from like a local beauty supply store. And if you all haven't seen one of these before, it just has like um, whatever this material is on one side and then it has like Velcro on the other side. And you're just going to essentially attach this to secure it, right? But I went ahead and did my got to be uh, freezing spray to lay this part down. And I'm just going to tuck this up under my rollers. Most of the time I don't have rollers on, but I do tonight. So I'm just going to tuck this and I'm just going to make sure that this main part up here in the front, let me look at it, you guys. I'm gonna make sure this main part here in the front is actually being, you know, um, covered by the edge band. And I'm just gonna tuck this up under my ears on both sides. And then I'm just gonna secure it in the back. And I'm just making sure I put this underneath my, um, my foam rollers as well. So I just secured that in the back. It's not too tight but it is hitting this very front part to help just make sure that that lays down. And last but not least, I have this super huge, <laughs> it's huge, you guys, bonnet that I got from Walmart. Um, I don't remember the brand, but it's like extra, extra large or something bonnet. So, and it's satin on the inside. So I'm just gonna put that on my hair carefully. Let's see how I can do this from the back. Yeah, and just take time to do this slow so you don't disturb your rollers too much because you don't want to undo any of them. That will be a hot mess the next morning. So I'm just putting this down over my rollers. And then you don't have to do this step, but I always just take this band and also tuck it behind my ear. All right, you guys, so that's it for the night. I'll show you guys tomorrow when I take down my hair what my final results are. Bye. Hi, pretties. So I'm actually coming back on to show you guys um, me taking down my flexi rod set um, on my sew-in. I am in a rush, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show the whole thing, but I'm just gonna show you guys taking down a few of these and then I'll show you all my final reveal of my hair, all right? This is my first time, I'm gonna start in the back. 
this is my first time um, flexi rotting like uh, sew in here. So I will be seeing the results, you know, like kind of how it turns out for the first time with you all. And of course, as you know, when you're unrolling these, just roll in the opposite direction of what you rolled in for it to come down. And um, just for context, these have been in my head like overnight and all day. It's about to be like 8 p.m. and I did this like 3 a.m. in the morning. So they've been in for quite some time, um, you know, just for context. And remember in the previous clip, I did show that I did add setting lotion to these curls and um, then I blow dried them. I didn't quite do 10 minutes, but I know I did like well over six minutes worth of blow drying um, when I, um, you know, put the setting lotion on these. So yeah, you all, sorry that I'm having a rush. I gotta go to a dinner that I just found out about last minute with my sisters who are in town. So yeah, so hopefully these flexi rods do me right so far. Um, I'm impressed. I see that the curls look different than the heatless um, set that I haven't shown yet. Um, so I'm excited about that. You know what I'm saying? Like that the curls don't look the, I'm um, getting a little twisted up here, that the curls don't look the exact same. They're falling and hitting a little different. And as you all can see, the different colors, I used a variety of sizes, but mainly the larger ones um, when I was doing these flexi rods. I hate rushing you guys. <laughs> these curls are cute though. I can work with these. I can definitely work with these. Okay, Flexi Rods. Come on through. Come on through. Let me not get impatient and mess something up. I'm starting to get impatient. Oh yeah, don't be rushing when you take these out. Don't be like me. Do better. All right. So before I start to comb these out, this is just what the curls are looking like. I have one little crazy flyaway here in the front. I'm gonna have to tuck that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start separating these. That's my first um, suggestion is to separate them. Just finger through them. I don't really have a lot of time to do too much extra tonight um, due to <laughs> the pressing time. So, sorry guys, when I see a crooked necklace, like I have to fix it like right then. But yeah, I'm just going to make sure my tag is in. Just finger through these. Um, and let them fall where they may, right? Because sometimes it's just what you have to do. I'm not crazy about how this is falling in the front. So let me try to see what I can do to get it somewhere. You guys, I get distracted so easily. If I see a speck or anything, I'm like, get that speck. <laughs> but, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. But yeah, this is what I'm looking like. Um, and I don't really have much time to play around with it, but um, hopefully if you're a girly that's really good with like curl placement, um, this will just give you some kind of idea of how your flexi rods may turn out and you know, you'll be able to like work with it. Um, you guys, I'm really struggling with this, but I don't even have time to deal with, um, what's that thing called? My, um, what's the roller called? my what's the rock what's the curlers that don't have a handle those but all right you guys i hope you all enjoyed seeing my takedown and what my curls look like and it really sucks that i'm rushing because normally i'm not but um that's life sometimes you can't always get like the advance notice that you need for things so all right pretties talk to you later bye all right so tonight i'll be trying the um Satin Heatless Curling Set by Kits. Kits. I ain't about to try to fight to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, in addition to me trying this Heatless Roller, I'm going to pull it out in just a moment. I also have a little 
hair clip since I don't have the special uh, clip that is made by this brand to hold this little U-shaped satin roller in place. I have my own clip. But yeah, as you all can see, I have already opened this and taken it out of the box. So this is the color pattern that I have. It comes in many different color patterns. And the first thing you're gonna do is make sure you take the two satin scrunchies off the end because you won't need these until you're ready to secure each side. Um, and then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is just you know kind of basically put this into a U shape so that you can put it on your head and begin the rolling process. But again, this satin, so that's a bonus. It won't um, cause your hair to break off, um, you know, we're using the, the product due to friction. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place this at the top of my head, try my very best to get it as centered and even as possible on both sides. Again, they do make a special clip that goes with this. I don't have it and I haven't ordered it yet. So I'm gonna use a regular clip just to clip down this top portion of my hair. And so you all are gonna see this is relatively easy. Um, so I'm just gonna grab a section of my hair. It can be however much you want. And I'm just going to wrap it around. Now, the whole key here is to get half of your hair on one side and the other half on the other side. So at this point, while I'm holding this, I usually like to go ahead and split my hair. Hope you guys can see this. Split my hair in the back into like two sides. It's not perfect. Yes, I hope you all can see that. I just put half my hair over here and half my hair over there. And so at that point, I have all my hair right here. So I've started this and you can always scrunch it up. And then at this point, I grab another chunk of hair and kind of get it, um, you know, without any obvious kinks. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish grabbing all of this hair. So at this point, I'm just putting the additional hair into my hand just to gather it off on this side. As you always can see, I've gathered all my hair. I'm just gonna take the hair and loop it around in these chunky loops because how you roll it is how it's gonna come out. So that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this and then I'm gonna turn around and do my little satin scrunchie to just help secure it in place. So there's one side. Now, we're gonna do the second side. So I'm gonna start off with a section of the hair. For me, I'm finger combing it. Gonna go ahead and remove my clip. Hold this back down. Take it up and over. And then I'm gonna make sure I pull all my hair to the front, all of it. I'm gonna scrunch this up. And then I'm gonna grab, do like a quick little finger comb. <laughs> I was about to say, and then I'm gonna grab the remainder of my hair. And again, join it with the chunk that I already had and begin doing wide twist chunks trying to do my best to keep the hair as straightened as possible during this process. So here's this side in the chunky chunks. Now you can make it a little bit more um, narrow and take it all the way down the roller. Either way or work. I'm gonna just spin that for aesthetics. So here's my final like roller look. Again, you can get like a really detailed and like have it super tight and going like from here all the way down. So to each his own for that. So that's all it takes to actually roll your hair. Um, so I'll make sure I show you all what my hair looks like the next day. All right.
<clears throat> so it's the next day, actually night, of me doing those um, heatless um, curlers, the satin ones, from early this morning. Um, it's like January 1st. And um, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like after like a whole long day, right? Um, it was a lot more polished earlier today, but I was in a rush getting out of the house, so I'm just not getting a chance to film the clip. But yeah, these are the type of curls that it makes, and it usually falls like right here, median um, height in your hair. Um, so, you can just leave it as this. Well, it comes out as like in a big chunk. And then when you um, take a comb and comb through it and then twirl it some, this is like the result, you know, at least that I got. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it looks a little different from the flexi rods, as you all remember from a few clips ago. But it definitely still works as far as like curls. But they're just like more curls that fall towards the second bottom half of your hair. So that's that. So I wanted to come on and just show another follow-up clip of what my curls look like when I just take um, out this um, heatless curler. Since I didn't get a chance to do like a beginning of the day clip, this is a beginning of the day clip. I haven't done anything to these curls except for just kind of finger um, comb them out. And for some reason, I haven't perfected like doing my swoop on both sides. So one side is always a little challenge. And um, this is like the second or third time I've used it. And so, of course, I'm going to have to go in with the wand curler and fix um, a few individual spots. But like I said, I just want to make sure I come on this video and show a like fresh in the morning clip of what it looks like, you know, using this um, heatless curler um, so that you all have a, a even better depiction of, you know, after all day and then at the beginning of the day. But it's not my favorite, but it's super convenient because to only have to put this on the top of your head and then just roll on two sides and it's super quick. It still is okay, um, in my opinion. Um, and then, like I said, I just, I'm gonna go in with my wand curler and help it out. So that's my honest um, feedback on how pretty much, you know, the curls turn out, just so you all can see. And um, most of the curls I have over to the side here, but sometimes I wear some of them to the back. So tonight I am trying out just regular sponge rollers. They, I have them in like a variety of different sizes. Um, you know, according to the different colors. Let me go ahead and pull some of all of the sizes out for you all. Yeah, these are the different sizes that I have, so I'll just use some different sizes on my hair. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do sponge rollers tonight, and then I'll come on tomorrow and show you all like what my results were for the sponge rollers installed. So for these rollers, like I just mentioned on the previous clip, I'm gonna go ahead and use some different sizes. Um, to get this um, weave all rolled up. All I'm doing before I um, you know, put the rollers on is I just have this hard tooth comb and I'm just combing through the curls. I'm not gonna do any setting lotion before I um, you know, put these rollers in. Depending on what my day looks like tomorrow, if I can, I'll do some setting lotion on the top of the rollers and then blow dry them before I take them out. But again, if my day doesn't, like the time is not permitted for that, then I'll just see how it turns out with just the rollers. And then I'll go in with the wand curler, you know, to help it look, you know, a little better. But yeah, I'm just taking a small section of hair. I'm gonna throw over the hair that I haven't done yet. I'm taking a small section of hair like this, getting it in my hand. Right now here in the front, I'm using the pink rollers. For these two in the front, I rolled them like this, like up to create that flip. But for the rest of these rollers on my hair, I'm rolling downward. I don't wanna say downward, I mean like this. So you're gonna create really tight like curls and then like I said I'll comb them out and see where they fall. So pink seems to be the best color to continue around the top perimeter with and again I'm just finger combing the top. Wrap this around. 
Sometimes rollers always remind me like of my grandma and my mom, because this is like old school here, you know? Like this was one of the ways, one of the main ways they used to roll their hair and get curls. So I'm just gonna keep going around this top perimeter. You all probably can't really see that. You know you didn't have something long when you don't even remember when you got it. <laughs> I don't know if I had these like back in college. I don't think I had these back then. At some point I got them over the last 10 years, but they haven't faded. So hopefully you guys can see when I'm kind of like here. I'm going to go ahead and fill in this other half. This little portion right here. I got my two things to roll with, so I'm getting the pink ones out. So yeah, I'm gonna grab my next little, you don't wanna have too much hair. I'm gonna finger comb it out since I've already combed it. Just open it, twist it around. I don't really have high expectations for these foam rollers in this weave because I feel like the curls may be so tight that when I go to comb them out, they just still going to scrunch up. But we shall see. So yeah, I've done all around. Oh, wait, I got one more. This one. I love this hair as well. It's from the brand the Queen Virgin Remy. This is my second time ordering hair from their website. And I'm a fan because their prices are reasonable. The hair is kind of a cheaper quality, but it's not like terrible. It'll do. All right, so this hot perimeter is done in pink. The next biggest color that I have um, after my pink are like these little um, sea green color. So I'm going to do that next going around um, my hair. So again, just get a small section, finger comb it out, open up your roller. All right, so I'm back. I need to free up some storage space on my phone and my phone just processed updates. So I guess that's a good thing. I'm on my last roller here. And all I did um, since the last clip was just go ahead and continue on with the seafoam green color from here on down, all the way around. I'll turn around and hopefully you all can see me. This whole section doesn't have any rollers, but I'll make it work. But yeah, so this is how it looks tonight. And I'll let you all see how it turns out tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Again, I don't have high expectations. I just don't. I don't know how this is going to work on weave. We'll see. Hello. So I'm coming on with my final clip to show the takedown of my sponge rollers. I've asked my daughter to stay in the other room. So hopefully she adheres and don't come here like because I'm not re-recording this clip. Okay. One take wonder. It is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm taking these down. I may or may not show the takedown of all of these on camera, but just want to, you know, make sure that I show you all kind of like what they turn out like. And obviously I'm not like a hair professional. I'm just your typical everyday person who's just trying to, you know, get it the best way she can. So I'm just unrolling these and like I said, my expectations weren't very high because of what's happening right now. I knew that with these rollers, it would like scrunch the hair up. So I was kind of concerned like, okay, how's it gonna look once I, um, you know, try to go to comb and brush it out, like will it elongate? So that was one of the reasons why I didn't really have high expectations. Oh, you guys, did I get that twisted up? I did. If you do that, just take it back down the opposite direction. Uh-oh, I'll get that later. One moment. 
Okay. So, I know you all can see in the back of my head, but I'm just taking these rollers down and I'm gonna do the, oh my goodness. Every last one of these things are falling. <laughs> Let me try to hold it. So yeah, I'm just trying to see what we have here. My honest experience. Okay, that goes a little quicker when you do it like this. Oh my God, you guys, it's so drawn up. Okay, so that method seems to help them just, I guess, be even more curly. Just literally spiral it out. Another one. Kind of brushing too, because I want to take my daughter to the skating rink. Her birthday was yesterday, so birthday adventures continue. But I just found out it's kind of like raining outside, so. Mm. All right. Let's get back on subject here. I'm almost done taking out the rollers. And again, I'm just doing this little spirally effect. Oh yeah, the spiral effect definitely helps for it to, uh oh, this one just came out all kinds of raggy. <laughs> the spiral effect definitely helps it to just glide out of your hair a lot smoother. Oh, I got a couple more hiding back here. Am I the only one that like the back of your head, you try to be go extra slow and be extra patient because you don't want it to look a hot, full, devilish mess in the back of your head? And it is for me. All right. So I think what I'm going to do instead of, so this is what I'm, I'm looking like with the sponge rollers, child interference. Hold on. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and comb these out. As I was saying before my daughter walked in here, this is like what I'm looking like. I mean, I don't really like this the way it is to wear it this way. And it looks kind of short and crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and comb these out to see what I have. And so far, I don't, it doesn't look like some, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm just so impressed with this. So it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> So I can definitely say off just first impression, this looks kind of like very vintagey and old and extra, 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 extra curly. Probably a little too curly for my liking, but so curly that I may end up like wearing my hair in a ponytail because this is like way too curly. And I'm probably gonna flat iron my hair after this. So this is how we end in a video, y'all. Ew, I don't like this. Mommy, it's just, it's just too curly, you guys. But I wanted to, like I said, come on and just give my experience of using different roller types, um, you know, to curl your weave. Oh, I hate that we ended off on a note like this. But, you know, for some, maybe they could take this and zhuzh it up. Again, I'm not a hair professional. I just do what I can do. This is really too curly. So if you want it extra curly, then great. Um, but I definitely don't plan on using these sponge rollers to roll my weave anymore. And probably after all these curly experiments, I'm probably about to do a nice flat iron job and just have it straight for a while like I usually do. All right, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please remember to give your girl a big thumbs up. Please comment down below if this video has been useful to you. And please subscribe to your girl's channel. All right, girlies, love you. Hi, Bye. girlies. Tell us, say bye. Yeah, look, I have a popsicle world. All right, guys. Bye.